everybody, I'm Stephanie Heyman in studio today and we are making little fun fairy glow in the dark jars for the little girl or boy in your life. So grab your supplies and let's get ready to craft. So the first part of our project we're going to do is we're going to take our jar and we're going to get our fairy glow on. So I've got this glow in the dark paint and I've got some little tiny paint brushes and I'm going to turn it upside down like this and I'm going to just kind of start dabbing on little dots of the glow in the dark paint. And what that's going to do is when it's nighttime and your little fairy house is in your favorite little person's room, it'll give it that little bit of fairy magic and it'll look like it's the fairy lights are all on and little maybe even little lightning bugs are filling the jar so we're going to put those little dots on there and you've got I grabbed a couple different types so that you can have like different shaped dots if you want I'm just gonna throw a few on here and to speed it up if you want you can use your heat gun to dry it but I think we'll go ahead and keep building the rest of our project while this dries. So I've got my dots of glow-in-the-dark paint on here. And I'm putting it on not super thick, but kind of thick because I want to make sure that they glow. So, and the nice thing is they're light enough that you'll still be able to see your little fairy house through the paint. So we're going to just slide this carefully out of the way and I'm going to put my paint away. And then the next thing we're going to do is quickly build our little fairy house. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put this in the lid, take the, put the glue in the lid and add a little small piece of floral foam. So I've got that. I'm going to put this in here just like that. And we're going to build our little fairy house right off of that. So I've got some fun moss that you can get. I just got this at the dollar store. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And what's fun about the fairy house is that the kids can help to make this or help design it at least, if nothing else. So if they have something that they really like, whether it's butterflies or little gnomes, things like that, you can include in here stuff that's important to them and what they like. Just remember that you're going to have to put the lid um, back on. So you have to stay away from the edges just a little bit so that you can still get the jar back in there when we're all said and done. So I'm going to put my moss in. And then I'm going to start adding some of the other little bits. So this is for my niece, and she loves a little show on the Disney Channel. And this is from Doc McStuffins, and she loves Doc McStuffins. And kids often have these little play things that just mean something to them, and so that's why I wanted to include this in here for her, because she'll know exactly who this little guy is. So we're going to put him in here. And then I've got some little jewels and things like that. She tends to collect things. And a lot of little kids do this, where they have a box where they find a shell or a rock or things outside. And so I want to put little collections in here for her. So I've got a shell and some buttons and some little bling. And then her little, her little dragon man here. So we'll throw all of this in here. And then I have a stem that's got a couple of little butterflies on it. And it's going to kind of add that in here in a second. We'll put this little button in there. And then it's really going to feel like one of her little collections, the little bits that she likes to find and save. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull off one of these little butterfly stems. This is a pretty thin one, so it should just kind of pop right off. If not, I'm going to grab my snips. Let me grab my snips here. Okay, and we're just going to snip it off. Now remember to check the height of your jar and make sure that it's still going to work with the height of your jar. So I'm going to add one little butterfly in here and make one a little bit taller and add it in and make sure it still fits the size of my jar. So there we go. We'll stick it right into the floral foam. And now I've created a little landscape here. I'm going to make sure that my paint's dry and then I'm going to come back and put it on and we will be all set. 
So our jar is all done. I put the lid back on. If you're worried about the little one in your life, you can also put a bead of glue in there to keep it so it's nice and sealed. What's really fun is you can try different size jars, create different scenes, and just have lots of fun making these little fairy jars. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, subscribe, and just keep on coming back for more crafty ideas.